So we are reading uh, Gurudev's Temple of Love. Which page, Andakaji? Page 107. 107. Mm -hmm. uh, this, we, we continue where, <coughs> where Gora Chandra stopped. It's in the middle of this uh, letter to Gurudev by Ganesh. Ganesh Das wrote a letter with questions. Uh, we continue with the last page of introduction of Gita Mahatmya. Oh, Gita Mahatmya? Yeah, this is like, uh, it's like uh, uh, down. It's not the beginning of the page. Page 107, but under middle. Okay. <clears throat> So, <clears throat> Ganesh Das is writing. The last, the last page of introduction is a poem from Gita Mahatmya. Translation. Let all the people understand that there is only one scripture for everyone. It's Bhagavad Gita. There is one Lord for everyone. It's Sri Krishna. Did I get it correctly? If not, please correct me. Because in different editions, in different languages, it can be translated differently so far. This point is very important for me and I would like to make sure whether you were mentioning of this point. Your Holiness, I am happy to get your answer happy to get all your instructions. I will be following it with all of my heart. I am meditating to come to India as soon as possible and receive your darshan. Thank you for allowing me to call you. My English is very poor. So I will find some translator soon and I will give you a call. Your Holiness, the number you gave me is an Indian one. In this way, I will dial your number without mistake. Please accept my bows, yours sincerely, Ganesha Das. <clears throat> and our beloved Gurudev answers. My dear Ganesha Das, 
राधे 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 कैन यू टॉक अ लिटिल बिट लाउडर फॉर अस थैंक यू यस यस ओके जस्ट अ मोमेंट आहा Okay, we hope this will be better. Not then nobody will understand what you are talking. Is Gurudev, very... how is Gurudev? How is now? How is now? Better, and this is standard yes. to keep. Always okay. you keep distance, Mike. Is not uh, Mike Gurudev? My mic is here. I don't here. know. I is slow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Understand, understand. Okay, okay. Yeah. My dear Ganesh Das, Radhe Radhe. Thank you for writing and asking questions. What you write. about the last page and this line let all the people understand that there is only one scripture for everyone it's bhagavad gita and there is one lord for everyone it's shri krishna this is the goal of our life krishna is the main goal of our life and he is the supreme this is the essence of bhagavad gita and to reach supreme we have to identify ourselves in human in body what is the highest because reaching to the highest we cannot reach to supreme and this highest is not material my senses my body my mind is material without identifying myself as a soul in soul consciousness we cannot be close with supreme so this is the way to stay in my spiritual identity and we relate with our soul relate to the divine with divine relate means relation in page 4 prabhupad mentions 22 times about relationship
and Prabhupada seriously tried to say without relation without your soul identity you cannot develop close relationship and closeness to the supreme because then he is very far from you so Prabhupada mentioned about Svarupa meaning spiritual form soul has to develop a form that is called Svarupa then he said when we understand the why supreme all Mahavishnu is not supreme supreme is supreme only without soul you cannot see and understand that material mind cannot understand hmm. say this go on hmm. then we block in different different David in Shiva in Mahavishnu in creation they are all the actor the response managers of the supreme they cannot do one thing they can do not everything they cannot do and supreme means everything who do supreme means not only one thing i will do i will create i will maintain i will destroy this is not a supreme nature he is not sitting on the chair but he is he is, he is nowhere but he is everywhere this is meaning of supreme <laughs> Imagine in one factory, one boss who is the boss who never go visit even the one year one time. All the direct, all the directors working, they are managers. They, but others think that they are the boss. Supreme never come. Tata never go to the city in the factory and manage it. Maybe in one he has no time for it. This is supreme. Go on. Yes. Hmm. Only without material consciousness we cannot assess that. In bodily identification, we will see the material gunas thing. Without understanding the soul and realizing soul and no desire to live in soul, we cannot relate, connect. We can communicate where I am, I will communicate that. If I am in spiritual soul consciousness, I can communicate. If I am in sense consciousness, body consciousness, we can com com communicate with the material, gunas, who is living in the gunas. Yes, go on. Mm -hmm. Then, Prabhupada said, Swarupa has to come in Siddhi. Swarupa Siddhi is the goal and the way to reach the goal. So that is to find what is Swarupa and what is Siddhi, perfection. And that cannot happen without 
relation. For that, we need Sadhu Sangha, who is living in that practice. We need their association. Yes, and I can just stop the date. Mm. <clears throat> so this Guru Dev is saying, Swarupa Siddhi is a goal. Means Swarupa Siddhi is goal means prayojana in one sense. And the way to reach the goal, that is Abhideya. And then Guru Dev said, that is to find. We try to find what is goal, what is prayojana, and also what the way means Abhideya. Guru Dev is saying, to find this prayojana and Abhideya. And then Guru Dev said, and what is Swarupa? And what is Siddhi, perfection? And we cannot, we, that cannot happen without relation. So, this Guru Dev said, relation, Sambanda. What is Sambanda? And what is Abhideya? And what is Prayojana? So according to our goal, we also, we need different practice. Abhideya may be different according to our goal. And then also we need to find according to goal, we, we need association what our goal is the same that's called sajati sangha if uh, if we associate someone who has a different goal then different rasa different feeling may create then confusion may come in. So Guru Dev was uh, saying a uh, uh, very simple word, repeating Prabhupada's word, but this is also called Sambanda, Abhideya, and Prayojana. So that's what I want to a little bit add. So everybody welcome uh, Suniti Didi and uh, Gorabani and uh, Uddabaji or anyone who can help our understanding. So please help us. Okay, continue. Mm -hmm. In the last page, last paragraph, the perfection of renunciation has many stages. And the final conclusion Prabhupada mentioned in the very last line Prabhupada writes by proper use of his independence he comes under the direct order of Krishna. 
does, he attains his normal condition in the pleasure giving potency. My glasses are that. There it is talking. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's perfect. Follow <laughs> <laughs> this, this picture. So then Gurudev continues his uh, letter. Just... Uh -huh. okay. okay, okay. Okay, 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 just continue. What Gurudev uh -huh. said. Uh -huh. So Gurudev continues writing. What is the meaning of pleasure giving potency? Do you know this? This is Sri Radha. Without taking shelter of Radhika, we don't know how to give pleasure to Krishna. Radhika, back, back, return back because we break it. Ah, My break mind. it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so mm. in the last page, the last paragraph, the perfection of renunciation has many stages. No, no, more back. More back. Okay, 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 okay. Guru Dev, uh -huh. So, that to find what is Swarupa and what is Siddhi, perfection. And that, and that cannot happen without relation. I is not for nothing you must jack up all master is not. Why you open this? Hmm. For that we need Sadhu Sangha. Who is living in that practice, we need their association. In the last page, last paragraph, the perfection of renunciation has many stages. And the final conclusion Prabhupada mentioned in the very last line. Prabhupada writes, by proper use of his independence, he comes under the direct order of Krishna and thus he attains his normal condition in the pleasure giving potency. This is end of quote. And now Guru Dev continues writing. What is the meaning of pleasure giving potency? Do you know this? This is Sri Radha. Without taking shelter of Radhika, we don't know how to give pleasure to Krishna. 
Radhika is the teacher, the guru of giving pleasure to Krishna. When we take the shelter of Radhika, then we learn what is my service and how to move it. She teaches how to develop a relation deep and how to fix in your spiritual identity. When this understanding becomes clear, my spiritual life develops very smoothly. Radhe Radhe, my blessings and love. Sadhu Maharaj. What was the question the letter? The question in the letter was like this. So this this Ganesh asked you uh, if he understood correctly that Krishna is the Supreme. He said in Gita Mahatmya it is written let all the people understand that there is only one scripture for everyone it's Bhagavad Gita, and there is one Lord for everyone. It is Shri Krishna. And then Ganesh asked you if he understood correctly <laughs> that Krishna is supreme. <laughs> he was he was a little confused because he read many translations of Bhagavad Gita and many translations of Gita Mahatmya, so he was not sure if he understood correctly. <laughs> okay. This is right. To understand Supreme is very difficult. Mm. Because how you can understand Supreme? when you don't know about him. <laughs> no, no. We don't know. We don't believe. Because we never see them. You take the example of India. He is a... Uh, is a Modi is the Supreme. The how I will know Modi? Who is Modi? <laughs> My work is done by police officer and uh, one Daroga and one and this. For them in my Supreme is the, uh, my uh, IS, IPS person is Supreme. For District me. Magistrate. District Magistrate is Supreme for me. He do my own job. So this is happening. Our natural Condition we think supreme is what who, who gives me the supreme for me. And the Veda uh, Puranas also make like this to confuse you. Puranas written by Veda Vyas is confusing, very complicated. Devi Puran, Shiva Puran. Then Shiva Puran says Shiva is the Supreme. Devi Puran says Devi is the Supreme. It's very confusing. They all say they are. Because you are in Gunas, you, you agree this. Guna means body, conscious. For them it is Supreme. Without knowing your soul consciousness, you will never understand Supreme. Why is Supreme? Soul can understand his super soul. He will search, soul can search about super soul. 
Otherwise, they will uh, bother for that. My senses, my ego, my mind, my body can't talk. No, they will never understand he will be here. Any place they will believe and he is a supreme person. Without soul consciousness, you cannot understand who is supreme from Super soul is supreme from Or not? Say me. It's a question, yes. Come here, near to my. One person is, uh, is a, my granddaughter, she has a question on this. So, Krishna. Krishna ki jo aradhya thi. So, uh, how do I say in English? Because Krishna's aradhya, uh, that means the one who he used to look up to was Shiv. And Shiv's was Krishna. Right? No, so is Shiva. Yeah. I know. Shiva. Shiva. No, you don't know. No, with me. Because I was Shiva devotee. Really? Yes, yeah. I was Shiva Bhakta. You don't know no Shiva. <laughs> I was Hanuman Bhakta. I was Shiva Bhakta. No me, from me. Shiva is the Adi Guru. From what I understand, Shiv is time. Unconsciousness. So listen, you say very small subject. Shiva is Adi Guru. Shiva is not a time. Listen, I explain you. Shiva is the Adi Guru. Adi Guru means who is always teaching, who remove the ignorance and who give the ignorance. He has a, all his gana, all the dutas are ignorant. The follower of Shiva is all bhuta and pichasas. Yeah. So who follow the Shiva, they are bhuta and pichasas. Because he is he, he is savior of Bhutas and Pishas who live in the past, they are Shiva Bhaktas. So who they call for you for Shiva Bhakta? What you Because Shiva, I was devoted to Hanuman, mm -hmm. but Hanuman he gave me the intelligence. He is a devotee of Krishna. Mm. Shiva, he is Adi Vaishnava. Mm. Hanuman is a Rudra avatar. And when the Krishna is going to the battlefield in Kurukshetra, who was part with the flag? Hanuman. Yeah. Hanuman. Why he put the flag? If he is a God Supreme, why he put the flag of Hanuman? He is a Ram devotee. He said, the all devotees higher than me. This is the devotion, love of the Supreme. Mm. To respect the devotees higher than me. Mm. Who is not respect Shiva, Hari Hara. One is Hari, first come Hari Krishna, and Hara means Haram is Shiva. Shiva is a Haram. Who respect Shiva, they understand. Because without removing the ignorance, we cannot understand. And the wife of Shiva is Mahamaya. This Mahamaya is time. Kala. This seed, time is Kala. Read Bhagavad Gita. Kala is the time. Who is Draupadi? Is a Kala. 
שתיים ספר אף לפרסנת. תבנה לספרסנה. דרופה תבנה לספרסנה. And Shiva is removing the ignorance and giving the ignorance. If you ask something, you ask only material things, he immediately gives. But you ask a gift from him, he will give. Shiva gives bhakti. My life, Shiva gives bhakti to me. I was going to Devgar, putting this Shiva water, 100 kilometer walking. And that time I was sitting in the bhajan and I got the realization of Lila Braja, Raka Krishna. Mm. I said, today I give the water. And from that, anyhow I went and put the water, because this was for Shiva. And I come back immediately. He gave me the divine reason. Your goal is Radha Krishna and Vrinda. He removed the ignorance, he gives the ignorance. This is Guru Kripa, he's Adi Guru. So always Ganga flow on, over the head of purity comes from the Shiva. What do you say? He drinks the poison, but why need a Ganga? He put here. He drinks the poison for helping others, but when he thinks Krishna, he's in my heart. How I can drink him? Hold it in my This is Shiva. This is Guru. He takes the poison of all devotees, but he cannot keep in the inside without Krishna. Krishna is in my heart. How I can drink it? This is the love of Shiva. Anyone can sleep, arrest, meditate. The snake is rolling in the neck. And he is always in meditation. Who can do like him? The devotees, what you think, is always disturbing to Guru. And then he is, he is relaxed. Why he is the Guru? We do like. He tolerates the snake moving. After that, he is in meditation. Mama is sitting near, but he's always in the meditation. This is the Shiva. He gives the ignorance and he take out the ignorance from us. Because Mahama, he said, go and give Mahama, Maya to him. Ignorance. He take out the ignorance. He gives. So this is the service of Krishna. And why Krishna is so clean? Because he is only playing the flute. He has no work. Why? In the Supreme will work. Supreme never work. Supreme never work. Vishnu is working and Shiva is working. But so please never work. That's the point. Supreme is a supreme. So the Krishna is supreme personality of Godhead. That to believe. Go on, thank you. Sorry, I have to explain this. Shiva and Vishnu. 
they are maintainers. They are the managers of the you know, uh, Supreme Lord. Any question asked? Uh, no, no, so uh, there, there's a saying that there's, there are four forms of Vishnu. So are a form? You don't know. There are. No, I'm not say, talking about say, that. say the form. I so, say. You. Yeah. So the first one was Shan Shan Dish. No. Shiro Dasha. Uh, I I you. No, Shiro Shiro Dasha is uh, later. The first one is something else. Shira. I say. I say. Yeah. Ma Mahavishnu. Yeah, Mahavishnu. Listen, then, Mahavishnu. Listen. Oh, higher than Mahavishnu is Narayan. The Ras, listen, I have a board you can see. Mahavishnu, Narayan. And, uh, and Narayan is the higher. Mahavishnu, Shiro Sai Vishnu, Karno Sai Vishnu, Garo Sai Vishnu, Sri Vishnu. Shiro Sai Vishnu is living in the seeds. Garva Sai Vishnu who created the, all the planets and and the Karno Sai Vishnu, the Lord thinks and it happens. Yeah, the one who breathes in and breathes out. Yeah. That's so this is the work of the Vishnu, of the departmental head. The how many planets is there in the universe, you know? The Supreme think and they have to do it. Why Supreme Dharma? You imagine I am here. I no go any place. Yesterday big program happened. How it happens? All was peaceful or not? Organized or not? So in the in one ordinary small person is moving. So and I am not doing. How it happened? I know do and why it happened. The, the responsible person is really responsible. So this Vishnu's are really responsible. Shiva is really responsible. Brahma is really responsible. They are most responsible than us for Supreme God. That to understand. How they can be a Supreme God? They are the two us. Supreme, who is not doing anything, they are supreme. The Tata, you see any company, he goes, any, any office, he goes. Who works? He gives the project. Uh, Ambani, any place you see him, he calls the manager, says, This is the project. I want how much investment you said to me? I give you money. I want to read how much you will result. Give the planning and show me. That's it. So who is supreme? The doer, who is manager, director or CA or supreme? Ambani is supreme. So what you're trying to say is the, the Mahavishnu is Krishna is what you're saying. Mahavishnu is not Krishna. Krishna is two energies of One is the Bahiranga Sakti, one is Antaranga Sakti. Antaranga Sakti of Krishna is Radha. A Bahiranga Sakti is also my Gurudev say. Antaranga Sakti become Bahiranga Sakti. Bahiranga Sakti who are outside the, manage the things. That is Balram. His brother, from that, explain. Balram all Vishnus. All Vishnu. First Narayan. Nara was Bhaikuntha. So Bhaikuntha became this is the Bhairanga Sakti, Balram work. For giving pleasure to whom? To Krishna. 
that to make happy to the Lord, one is a pleasure giving potency, one is outside potency. Only to make the happiness to him, he created the creation. For whom? What is the goal of that creation? To give the happiness to the Lord. To serve. To serve it. And that, from this Ananta, Ananta happens. Then Ananta may create this Chiro Sai Vishnu, Kadano Sai Vishnu, Garbo Sai Vishnu, Chiro Sai. I have a board. You have a board in town? Yes. One? Yes. Yeah. 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 Show, bring, bring and show him. Yeah. See all this great. Yeah. Mm. Oh, some space there. Eh? In... Yeah. You can, you can go back and then they can sit here. You have a place, yes. Yeah. Take the stool. Yeah. 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 Sorry, Jananda Maharaj, because there is some doubts in this, I want to clear it, and they have time. So you are good subject today. Oh, that is the point. Can you say something about that? Radhe, Jananda Maharaj. Yes, Gurudev. Yeah. I had one story. Uh, someone came, new devotee, or actually not maybe, not not devotee. One person came to India and Brindaban, and there is some many card, kind of many picture, yeah. like a demigod picture. I'm <clears throat> so, so yeah. some pic, you know, different kind of picture of demigods or gods. And then <clears throat> one person asked, what do you think? Who is supreme? <laughs> and that person was quite intelligent. Supreme means, uh, and then he, he was seeing, or maybe this person who is uh, who is praying, that person may be supreme. And then he pick up one picture. Maybe this person, Krishna, this person may be supreme. And then person asking, why you select this Krishna? Because Krishna is dancing with a lady. So, <clears throat> Gurudev mentioned, if we are big company's president, Some then president, comfortable. <laughs> and then that person does not work, just to tell something. And then just, all, you know, just kind of praying, like a beach, relaxing, or some kind of praying. And then some, some manager came, just to give some direction, short time. So similarly, Krishna is praying. Vishnu is still working, because Vishnu has to maintain universe. Brahma has also work. He has to create. To, in order to create a universe, in, in order to create living entities, he has to doing tapasya, meditation. <laughs> Lord Shiva, Shivaji also, he has some kind of taking care of ghost and many, you know, different, uh, 
leaving entity, someone who is mode of ignorance, <laughs> and he has to destroy universe if time is coming. So he has to work. They has to work. Every, every, every demigod has certain work. But Krishna is Dira Rarita. He's always playing and joking with, with gopis and coward boys and other brajabashis. So, Vishnu is good. Nara is good, but Krishna is super good because he does not care anything. Just he's always thinking how to pray, how to give some lira, how to taste rasa, nectar with gopis and uh, radarani, or maybe sometimes covered boys. So this picture is very interesting. Suniti Didi or Lada Charanji, they can explain more in detail. Okay, should we continue? Or, or if she has questions, maybe we may hear and uh, we can, we can share. <laughs> Gurudev's grand, granddaughter? Yeah. So, uh, I was also doing a lot of research and I was reading a lot of other, you know, scriptures and texts that were available. And in that, from what no, I had an no, understanding no, was, there. Why uh, there's like Mahavishnu yes. and then there's Gabyoki Vishnu there. and then there is uh, Shirodhai Vishnu. Mm -hmm. And the Shirodhai Vishnu is the one who is lying on the snake. <coughs> now, she's Sheshna. Sheshna, Sheshna takes birth as form of, say, Lakshman and Balram. And uh, that Vishnu, that Shirodhai Vishnu is the one who actually takes birth. Uh, not birth, who takes avatars uh, yeah. and different, different avatars. So his one of the avatars was Ram. Uh, in the, so that's when we read Ramayana, he's the one who's, who we refer to. In uh, the Dwapar Yuk, so that was, Ramayana happened in the Trita Yuk. In the Dwapar Yuk happens Mahabharat where Krishnaji is born and uh, Krishnaji takes avatar, that like Vishnu's avatar, from what I have understood. And um, there he, he, his main purpose to take birth was basically to teach about love, what exactly love is uh, and how to that is uh, uh, to basically uh, ensure that dharm is existing in the world the way it should be. That's why the Mahabharata happened. Okay. Now, uh, so the question here is that Shiv is also very important, right? Because Shiv, as per the scriptures and everything, he's time and consciousness. And without time, Yes, I yeah. 
So, uh, in the scriptures, they say that uh, time and consciousness. Time and consciousness is important for any uh, universe to be created or maintained or anything. So, time and consciousness is important for uh, the universe to be created. Without the consciousness, you will not know what is right, what is wrong, right? Which is why Shiv is important because he is the one who brings in that element. Time, without time, they, you, uh, there was one story you might have heard where uh, both Vishnu and uh, Brahma were quarreling upon who came first. And then uh, there's this small uh, link that appears. And then they say that uh, that was, of course, Shiv. And then he asks, he says that, okay, whosoever takes who, whosoever goes and uh, finds the first tipping point or the uh, what the starting and the ending point of mine or the ending point of mine will be the first one who actually came so vishnu ji goes down and brahma ji goes up to find but they couldn't find the uh, either the starting or the ending point of that link so then they they go in for for years and years they have been searching and they couldn't find anything and then after that they basically come and they say that okay vishnu says that i couldn't find the uh, end point could you find the start point he asks brahma so brahma says yes because he lied and he got that uh flower on uh one of the flowers i don't remember the name but he got the flower and he said that this uh you can ask this flower that i found the uh, starting point. So then Shiv appears and he says that you're lying and because of the, since you're lying you will never be worshipped because of that. So uh, that's why in India you have only one temple. So here from what my understanding was that you know when the universe was created from what I understand both uh, like all the three, Brahma, Vishnu and Mahesh that is Shiv they all are from one God but they all have different different activities to perform like for example same body same me but wearing different clothes i could be wearing uh, sari one day but that sari uh, wearing me could be one of the gods this wearing me is one of the gods and this wearing someone else was brahma so that's how i see that how vishnu my shiv and brahma are supposed to be they also say that that shirudhai vishnu's avatar that is taken that is krishna that he comes just to teach about love. But of course, there is higher consciousness. That is uh, Mahavishnu, right? Because he doesn't do anything. And he's in his one breath exists uh, the Garbhudhai Vishnu. So every breath that uh, comes out is a universe, multiple universes that are found uh, formed. Uh, that is Garbhudhai Vishnu. And once he takes it in, that entire universe collapses. And inside that Garbhudhai Vishnu is Shirudhai Vishnu, from which one uh, planet, uh, like one uh, universe is formed. So it's quite, it's like it's a multiverse sort of a thing. And uh, so this is something that I have read and honestly seen a lot of places. And now when I, when you tell me that, you know, Krishna is the supreme, like he is the uh, Mahavishnu, so that's contradictory to so many scriptures. So I really don't... I don't understand how is that possible then. They are in their supreme, and how is their supreme? You have to see to understand how I can explain you because your mind is blocked in up to creation. And who is the reason of creation? You don't want to know. You have to see that. Then you will know. You see, where is the Rama Loka? Where is the Krishna Loka? They have a, they are, if they are not, how they are? You see, you have to see that. But wasn't Ram born here only on this planet? Are they by see first, then they say talk? Where are <laughs> this is Shiva Loka. This down is Shiva Loka. We are living in this planet. This is the yes. Yes, he is at the bottom and Brahma is on the top. And then the middle of the Loka and Yes. Yeah. 
Yes, everyone has a problem in India. Men has a problem they don't want to know. This is the reality. India has more problems. We should fix this. Too many Purana in Hindi. They are so confused that they cannot know. No, how they can see? See the loudness. Can you see? Yeah, yeah. Can you explain? So basically, basically, from what I understand of this picture is actually explained from what I have read as well. Uh, that is Mahavishnu's, Mahavishnu's one breath. Okay, so imagine all his pores. Every time he breathes out from each of his pores is one bubble that comes out. Okay? In that one bubble is this. Yes, one okay. universe. Yeah, no, not one universe. It is two. Inside it is multi universe. So basically one bubble. Let's consider this one bubble. This is Garbhodaya Vishnu. In Garbhodaya Vishnu, the Vishnu is at the bottom and the Brahma is on the top. Okay. In the Garbhodaya Vishnu bubble. There's so many bubbles. So I'm just talking about one bubble. There are multi bubbles. So in one of the bubbles, there is um, like Vishnu Ji is on the, this is Garbhodaya Vishnu who is at the bottom and Brahma Ji is on the top. Between these two, there are 14 lokas. Okay. 14 lokas. So, the, the Satya loka is on the top, which is Brahma loka, which is like beneath uh, that Brahma ji. Then Tapu loka, then Chandra loka, then Mahar loka, then Swarg loka. That is Indra Lok, where all the uh, Indra, uh, yeah, Indra Dev, and everyone lives. And uh, uh, yeah, Bhuva Lok, no, no, which is Dakshas and Life not coming. And, and after that, after Bhuva Lok is basically our planet, that is Earth. Yes, it says Bhuva Lok is where we are. Yeah, Bhuva Lok no. is where we are, there is Dakshas and Earth. Basically, there is one beneath the earth that's called Patalu. Okay, there are lot there are seven lokes beneath the Patalu as well. Okay. So when you go down this way, like basically in total there are 14 lokes. Not 15, now, the earth is not one as well. Seven uh, so on top, center, seven on bottom. Center yeah. is earth. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six are on the top. Huh. Seven is the earth where we are. And yeah. then seven are on the bottom. So then it's and this is the uh, wait, total uh, 40, including so the So there's earth. more on the bottom. So the earth is not the middle, right. but the no, first the heavenly pen. So just see, so not so really all the middle. There, above earth there are uh, five, and below earth there are seven. Yeah. No, no, six. Above six. Sorry, above yeah. there are six, and then below sure. there are seven. Total fourteen. No. So, so if I have to go to the lawyer, to engage 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 the lawyer, I think not only in this of his neighbor comes from Brahma, not in front of And when Brahma creates, like there's one more bubble that is the one that was so when I understand, you just like explained the bottom part, but you were not even thinking of the top part. And he's like, you explain how, but he explains why it had come to appear. No, no, I said that this was Garbhodai, and then there is Shirodai. So that's what they are looking about. That Mama creates another bubble, which is another bubble from uh, ah, ah, after yes. Garbhodai. Vishnu and in that gets created the universe like from what we, we know as we, we are that, living there yes we live here, here like, we are. Uh, uh, this gets created that yes, yes. okay in that is Shirodhai Vishnu who is the maintainer the ship that who comes 
in the bank, he is the destroyer. He yes. is important <laughs> because if the destruction doesn't happen, then the creation will not take place. Not A new creation will never take place. So, for anything new to be created, uh, old has to old has to go. Yes, we okay. can't bad. Then, uh, then comes the from of his creation. He's creating all that. And Vishnu here is the Oh, you can hang there and yeah, here is the Durga and the Shakti is very important. Each calendar. Each, uh, the calendar. Yeah, and the and the yeah, and the paper. Paper, you are like a reading god. Can you explain that? No, no, no. All you can see. But as of what I understood, you only explained the part which was on the bottom. You started with Mahavish. What about the part at the top? What about because what I this teacher Krishna this made everything for you to be happy. Sadashiv, yeah, okay, that's Mahavishnu, Mahashivasa. Yeah, 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 but, so the, so you were saying that beyond Mahavishnu is, beyond Mahashiv, you were saying beyond Mahashivishnu is Sadashiv, that is Mahashiv, yes, Sadashiv, yeah, and you were trying to say that beyond, Brahma Jyoti, Krishna's can we keep it in, in English so everybody can take part yeah, in the yeah, yeah. It's, it's written in Sanskrit. That's what it's for. Yeah. <laughs> so translate, they are. Oh my God. <laughs> Radhe. Radhe, but yeah, you do class, cut my connection. Like cut my yeah, connection. Yeah, you yeah. listen. Topic is it's different topic they are going, so I have to do this class. <laughs> okay, Andakaji, maybe we may continue. <laughs> Let's continue. Shirade. Okay, so we read Gurudeva's uh, answer to Ganesha's letter. And we continue on. Uh, uh, Andakaji, could you say again uh, what's the meaning of pleasure giving potency? Maybe we can move <laughs> Moika again. Ah, yeah, okay, Moika. Okay. So, let's... Mm. Pleasure giving potency. Radhika, uh -huh. without taking shelter of Radhika, we don't know how to give pleasure to Krishna. <laughs> so Radhika is the teacher. She is the guru of giving pleasure to Krishna. <laughs> and when we take the shelter of Radhika, then we learn what is my service and how to move it. Radhika teaches how to develop a relation deep and how to fix in your spiritual identity, Swarupa. So this is like <laughs> I think from here it's clean, <laughs> clear. <laughs> what is pleasure? Pleasure giving pot. Who is pleasure giving potency? Uh, okay. Then 
uh, we continue reading. Today, Guru okay, Dev. Okay. Ah. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Just to deep, you know, read, continue reading. Continue. Okay. Today, Guru Dev was mercifully explaining how Swamini makes Krishna the supreme. Swamini is the one who is full of prema. That this prema makes Krishna's form of Rasaraj to appear. Shirad. It is through Radha's love that Krishna becomes the transcendental Kama Dev. Okay, and I can stop it. <clears throat> so we had Guru Dev's discussion with Indian Indian relative or Indian people. <laughs> so many Indian India has problem. What is problem? India has many gods. It is difficult to difficult to uh, select one god. Well, it is uh, difficult to find out who is supreme god. That is uh, many Indians' problem. Also, our problem also. And then, India, <laughs> many people say, oh, Shibaji is supreme. Or, or, Durga. Durga Devi is supreme. Shakti is supreme. And sometimes Brahma supreme. So why that is happening? Because in the Veda, a scripture, Purana, it describes different kind of Purana. So some, some, some Purana, some, some Purana describe about for Tamasic people. Tamasic people thinking, oh, Shiva is supreme. Sometimes some Purana is Rajasic. So they need material, material gain. So sometimes they worship Shakti, Durga Devi, or sometimes worship Shiva for getting material gain. And some people who is mode of goodness, they worship Vishnu. And then someone who is Shutta Sattva, pure mode of goodness, they worship Krishna. So actually this Ganesha Ji, this Ganesha Prabhu, Ganesha Das Prabhu Ji was saying true. There is only one scripture for everyone, it is Bhagavad Gita. There is one road for everyone, it is Sri Krishna. This is for ordinary people. So this is for ordinary people. Because many people, including Indians, they don't know who is supreme. So therefore, this is true. Gita Mahatma is saying true. Krishna is supreme, and uh, only one scripture is Bhagavad Gita. And then someone who is little advanced, then people start looking for more in detail. 
So, among the Krishna, among the Krishna's incarnation, who is Supreme Lord? Then we have to see Srimad Bhagatam. Because Srimad Bhagatam is in Shuddha Sattva, in pure mode of goodness. So, and then Bhagatam first can't say, Krishna's to Bhagavan Swayam. Many incarnation of Krishna, <laughs> many incarnation of Vishnu, but original one, Swayam Bhagavan means original one, beginning, Supreme Ishwara, Supreme Lord is called Swayam Bhagavan. This is Krishna's to Bhagavan Swayam. Krishna is Supreme Lord. So Bhagavan mentioned different incarnation and uh, Shukadeva Goswami proved how Krishna is Supreme Lord. And then, tenth canto, Shukadeva describes how Krishna is supreme. Because Shibaji, according to Rupa Goswami, Rupa Goswami describes a checking the quality of Supreme Lord. There is 64 qualities of the Lord. Shibaji has 55 quality among the 64. Vishnu Narayan has 60 qualities. And Krishna has all 64 qualities. So this described in Krishna in Vrindavan. So, in Bhagatam say, Krishna is to Bhagavan Swayam, but original road is Vrindavan's Krishna. Yasho, Yashoda Nanda, Nanda Nanda no Krishna, or Radhika's Krishna is supreme. And then, Gurudev was saying, what's the meaning of pleasure giving potency? And who, someone who can give pleasure to Krishna, that is great devotee. And who can give highest pleasure to Krishna, that is greatest devotee. That devotee's name is not mentioned in Srimad Bhagatam. But Bhagatam Try to describe who is supreme gopi, who is supreme devotee, who can please Krishna most. This is Bhagatam's tense canto is subject matter. Then Shukadeva describes Krishna is dancing with a gopi. And this describes Rasa Panchami, 10th canto, 29th chapter to 33, 33rd chapter. And then Rasa Lila described. And then among Rasa Lila, one gopi disappear. Then Krishna was completely shocked. Krishna ran after that gopis. So that gopis name does not mention in Bhagatam. But our acharyas, like Sanatana Goswami, 
ジーバゴスワミーズ、ワビシュバナンタチャクラバーティタクラ。They are described. This supreme gopi name is Shurimati Radharani. So, and then, but the Bhagatam mentioned only name, only supreme, supreme、uh, pleasure giving potency. And then, Chaitan Charita Murita described what is the quality or what is, what is glory of Shri Mate Radharani? Why Shri Mate Radharani is supreme? What kind of quality she has? What kind of nature? What kind of rasa? What kind of great feeling? What kind of Mahababa he has? This is described in Chaitanya Charitamrita. And Chaitanya Charitamrita described and radical quality, radical glorification. But, how to serve radical is not clearly mentioned in Chaitanya Charita Murita. So, and then Acharya said, so how to take shelter pleasure giving potency? And someone who taking shelter Pleasure giving potency means how to cross with radical, how to know radical's feeling. That is described Radhara Sasdhanidi and Birapak Sumanjari. So, therefore, this Gurudev tried to say, How to develop relation? This relation with Krishna and also relation with Radharani. And how to fix our spiritual identity, Swarupa. But this is interesting. How to fix spiritual identity means we have to know the goal. What kind of relationship we would like to have? What kind of rasa we would like to taste? What kind of service we want to do? This should be fixed. To fix rasa, to fix the spiritual identity, we need Greed. Yeah, to have it. This relationship has, Rupa Gosami said, five kinds of relationship. Shanta, Dasha, Sakya, Basarya, and Madhurya. <coughs> And this, especially this Sakya, Basarya, Madura, especially describes in Brindaban's pastime. And in Brindaban's pastimes, Gopi's mood is highest. Actually, Gurudev mentioned, <coughs> we have to have spiritual consciousness. We have to know Swarupa, spiritual home. What kind of spiritual home we would like to have? This is depend on our desire, our greed. This we need to practice Sajati Sangha. Same goal, same goal, but who has more advanced devotee? 
or some one is completely fixed one rasa, one goal. That should be no. So Guru Dev is very general answer. <clears throat> but the Guru Dev say this Swamini, if we say Swamini, Swamini means we think Swamini, Radhika is our boss. Means we are made servant of Radhika. If our spiritual identity fix Radhika's dasi, that person could say Radhika Swami. So this Guru Dev is interesting. How Swami makes Krishna supreme? Radhika makes Krishna the supreme. Why? Because Radhika has supreme love. So therefore, Radhika is pleasure giving potency. So Radhika could make Krishna is supreme. This is very interesting. And then Krishna, no, Radhika is one who is so full of prema. Because Radhika has, Radhika is Mahababa Chintamani. Whatever Krishna's desire, Radhika fulfill Krishna's desire. So Krishna's name is Rasa Raj. King of Rasa. But Radhika is greatest feeling of love. So this interesting. It is through her love. It is through Radhika's love. Krishna become transcendental karma dev. So Krishna is spiritual transcendental karma dev. So sorry, I give little talk, much talk. So if someone who can help, Radha Kripa Katakshaji or anybody. Yeah. 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 So I had some cooking for Radha and Krishna now just I I'm not uh, how to say in the flow like others and uh, so I just uh, will give uh, some chance uh, maybe to others to say something maybe if somebody no. Fire. No, 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 you know, you can, you can, you can say your poem also. This also, you know, from beginning, described some poem, actually. You want so to you, read or what, or Yeah, but whatever, you know, you feel some kind of, you know, poem of Radhika, or, you know, anything, some, some leader, whatever you feel it. Shares. Yes. Yes, I just accomplished uh, just yesterday for Janmashtame, I accomplished one uh, and uh, offered to Radhika, but actually it is uh, emotion uh, towards uh, my friends who are still uh, practice uh, Vaidhi Bhakti. And uh, sometimes in my meditation, I always have a desire to uh, transfer my emotion to them but uh, i think that uh, finally i realized that uh, uh, actually everybody of us have a particular time for uh, uh, for uh, for uh, receiving the particular emotion and uh, uh, quantity of this emotion which we can uh, which we can um, mm, how to say, uh, tolerate actually, because sometimes in my meditation, I have a, mm, uh, uh, 
some uh, kind of emotion coming to me when I offer to service for a radica, but one time I can feel that uh, I have to stop myself and uh, come back in the, some this, uh, how to say, so-called normal condition, because uh, every day uh, gradually we we increasing by the mercy of uh, Radhika and uh, Acharyas and Gurudev, increasing this uh, normally to increasing this emotion. So, but we have to have uh, enough, uh, um, how to say, strength to tolerate this emotion that we. Cannot uh, hear. No, sorry. Okay. No, no, I can hear. We can hear. Uh, Hmm? Okay. No, we have to come on the platform that we are constantly in the same uh, emotion according to, to our uh, platform in, in this particular time, which is, uh, which is uh, uh, not so easy always when we are every day in our, um, in our business, uh, different situations. Uh, but we can uh, see that what is our, actually, what is our goal? Uh, when we see the life of uh, saints, uh, yeah, when I read uh, the saints of Raja, what I bought the last time in Vrindavan, that our goal is uh, actually to go uh, to be more alone with Radhika and Krishna, when our uh, life going in a progress, this external uh, worship of them have to go more more inside and without uh, Many people around, many external uh, worshiping that we have to go more in a uh, eternal, internal connection with them actually, and uh, in intimacy worship them, just invoking them uh, in our meditation, uh, in intimacy, uh, intimately uh, to worship and serve him in a in, uh, in an intimate uh, environment. Uh, and then we can go deeper and deeper and achieve this uh, goal of uh, of purity of our emotion, what is uh, recommended by, by our acharyas. But for all of this, we need a mercy. Actually, it's not uh, by our attempt that we think that we are advanced uh, or something. Just cry for the mercy every day, and. This is just spontaneous. Maybe it's not according to the subject what you're speaking about, but just to, I just express it uh, 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 spontaneously. So, it's easy. Is, is there enough time for some poem, or this is enough? You can choose. No, if you could share which you, may, you made uh, this jam master me. What kind uh, of oh, I didn't, I didn't translate it actually, but I have one poem which I didn't read uh, to you. Uh, this poem uh, uh, I read uh, when I uh, came back from Vrindavan last time when uh, Gurudev uh, gave me this new name <laughs> and uh, discovered Swarup. And uh, so this uh, poem, maybe I can read it now. It's I uh, didn't publish it. This is a uh, product actually of this emotion that I brought here when I come back from the Vrindavan. Mm -hmm. If you like, I can read it. Uh, so, yeah. This is very good, too, if you could. Okay, I will find it. And we have enough time. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, just, to, yeah, we can have it. Hey, uh, just uh, to take my glasses and uh, find this song, I needed two or three minutes. If you, if you want to say something, I coming back for two minutes. Okay. Okay. And and then Bhagavata Muritaji. So, if you could share something. So how are you doing? Oh, I could not hear. Rade, 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 do you listen? Yeah, 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 good, good. Wow, it's amazing, I am very, very, very happy to to see all my brothers. I I feel, I really see the, this flow, this Sayati Sangha is amazing. 
And I just have some, uh, I'm enjoying really much this, this uh, song and the way you explain things, you clarified, and also the discussion that was going on in the in Guru Dev's room about this uh, the conception of the universe and from the granddaughter and very nice the mercy with the way that Guru Dev like to understand the point of everybody just to give the advance to next steps to clarify. And something happened very nice that I like to share with you mm -hmm. is that uh, when I was uh, I was looking at the at the uh, camera the the video camera that shows the Guru Dev's room and they bring the the map of the uh, universe and. Um, Aishbarya, the, the granddaughter of Guru Deva, she was explaining what she understands and she have a clear, like a lot of knowledge of the constitution of the of the universe and the scriptures. And there is some point Guru Dev bring a lamp, a light lamp to them to, to see more clear. And what happened in my in my view when they start to to put the lamp into the 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 picture of the universe? I was just looking behind Guru Dev. There is Radha and Krishna, and the lamp was lighting was was lighting the the foot of Srimati Radhika. And I took these pictures. This means I, I see how behind the teachings, behind the apparent things, there are deeply connections. And this, this was amazing uh, how this lighting come to the proper place. We are very fortunate to, to have this guidance and this Sajati Sangha that we are focused. It's like every time when I come to the classes, if it's no matter when, the topic is the same. The clarification are the same. The explanations are deeply, deeply different layers, layers and that, that are going more and more deeply. And this is the, the mercy that we are connected and everything is so clear. Everything is, and now when I listen after uh, uh, and also then after the situation of, of, the, of the room of Guru Dev, that he said, okay, go ahead, you continue with the class because we are in other subjects. Then after come, <clears throat> um, and yes, after when, when we start to come again and and we we just see the the, the everybody was was laughing was like was happy about what this situation. But again, we come to the point, and you cl clearly shows the the main subject to be the servants of Srimati Radhika. It's wonderful, and now. Listening now, we are expecting this poem, this beautiful poem that comes from a realization of uh, of the of this. And this this is, we are very excited to to listen this coming poem. Rade rade. Yes. So please, Radha Kripakatakshaji. So please go ahead. Okay. Uh, excuse me in advance uh, for my unproper uh, <laughs> reading because recently uh, my sister Mahababa uh, has translated this, so I will try to uh, slowly in a proper way read it uh, for you, for Guru Dev. So if you have enough time, maybe maximum 10 minutes, it's a little yeah. bit longer. Okay, <clears throat> so uh, the name of this, you can hear me properly, yes? Yes. Okay. Uh, the name of the song is uh, uh, Radha 
sidelong glance. Mm. Mm. The, uh, the embraces of Radha and Krishna are the peaks of the Himalayas. They are the midday sun. They are the ripe mango fruits. Oh, Radishyam, your touch is the final stroke of the brush of the painter's canvas, of the one whose heart is permeated by your dear faces. Your embrace is the last verse of a poet's another song about you, of the one who cannot write anything else, cannot speak of anything else, the whom you are everything in all. Your meetings on full moon nights are in the tears of those who call your names with longing. They are in the Japa, where not only counting is done, but here every bead is a soap in the chests of all who've placed your kunja of fragrant leaves in them. Your embraces are hidden in austerities of those who still wait for love. Your meetings are in the conclusion of Vedic scriptures and the final understanding of all those who seek the meaning of everything, who embrace truth with words. Your smiles are the answer to everyone from whom happiness eludes lifetime after lifetime. The unity of your bodies is the end of the journey for every seeker with an open heart. <clears throat> oh, Rade, consumed with wild joy, I reach out to you. I offer you my whole heart. And if I had a thousand hearts, I'd give each one to you. Between us is an un invisible thread understood only by those who touch you with the same strengths. When I reach out my hands, they seem empty, but that love is not seen by external eyes. It is the red dust of the altar I bring to your feet. It is in a marigold flowers that I offer to Govinda to adorn them with your hair. That love is in the first blush of the purple sun that gently touches you in the morning when I open the window for it. It cannot be contained in these words, nor can they truly portray you. Your beauty is boundless and indescribable. Still, I write. I choose words to slightly adorn you with them. For my being constantly calls to you. And the lips seek sweet descriptions to bring them closer to your name. It increasingly spills over my heart, which melts from the sweetness untouched by words. In it are the fragrant gardens, O oh my Swamini. And every day I pick flowers from it and hold them in trembling palms. Then I give them to the one who has given me new life in this life. She places them in your tresses to intoxicate Mohan when his lips touch your hair. Oh, sweet Radhe, thanks to the moon 
for stealing the radiance from your cheeks and to the stars that blush with the redness of your lips. Thanks to the wind that sways the stalks of ripe bread in the dusk. Glory to all those painters, tireless travelers who remind me of you. Through them, I see all those wonderful scenes that the thirsty heart longs for. Your honeyed face lightening up when you see Krishna returning from the pasture in the evening. Your lips that whisper his name softly so that no one hears. Your hands like sheaves of wit swaying on their own as if uh, inviting him into an embrace. Oh, my Swamini, you are all that I desire. A life before you wasn't life, just waiting for you to enter my heart, for me to recognize you. You are the beginning and you are the beginning and the end of the part. You are the laughter and tears of the enraptured traveler heading towards you, towards the magical world of endless pastimes, where you are our princess, the one for whom we collect dew drops to bat your face when you open your eyes in the morning. From your slanting glance emerges a torrent of grace, batting all who have sought refuge in the red particle from the soles of your feet. I live for that gaze, O oh my Radhe, and for your happiness. And it's of blue color. The color of his joy is yellow, like molten gold. And when they merge, the green color of the Vrindavan forest swells. The leaves on its trees turn into emeralds. And then your love surges through the veins of your maid servants. Honey bees dance on their skin. Faces shine with balding joy. And then we know, oh dearest Rade, that nothing more can fit into our hearts. Your sweet love is a waterfall endlessly pouring unto them. Oh my Rade, I breath for your sidelong glance. I place eternity in the dust before your tender feet. Here is my place, and here I wait for your gaze, crafted from grace, to tell me how to serve you. Thank you for your attention. This is the end of story of, I mean, of poem. Wow. Wow. Very, yes. very nice, very, what do you say, meditative, you know? Yeah, this is mercy of Gurudev. I said this is uh, appeared in my heart uh, after returning from Vrindavan, after, after I received uh, this uh, precious gift in the heart to uh, receive this uh, uh, opportunity to worship Radhika through Swaru, actually to meditate on this, to transfer this uh, uh, emotions uh, in my eternal body for which I can uh, serve her, actually, with your mercy and your mercy. What to say more? Thank, Thank you very much. much. Thank you very much for sharing. You are really Radha Kripa Kataksha.
Okay, thank you very much.